Dion Smallwood was sentenced to die via lethal injection for the 1992 beating death of Lois Frederick, who was 68 years of age at the time of the attack. On February 5th, 1992, Smallwood went to the residence of Miss Frederick looking for her daughter, who he was in an off-again, on-again relationship. When she told him she was not there and asked him to leave, he struck her with a croquet mallet, drug her body to her car, drove to an isolated area, and set it on fire. After firefighters were called to the scene and put out the fire, Lois Frederick's badly burned body was discovered in the back seat. Simultaneously, Oklahoma City police were at her house investigating a missing persons report filed by her family when the news came in that she was found dead. During the autopsy, the medical examiner report indicated that Miss Frederick died of severe head trauma and smoke inhalation, meaning she was burned alive. During court testimony, after Smallwood struck Lois Frederick in the head, he went to the living room. He heard her choking on her own blood while he attempted to clean up the crime scene with various clothing items found around the house. Lois's daughter and ex-girlfriend stated on the witness stand during the trial that Smallwood said if she would not agree to meet him, he would kill her mother. And here is his grave. Dion and Thanasias Smallwood, August 15th, 1969 to January 18th, 2001. 31 years old when he was executed, pretty young, pretty young. And I believe that might be his prison picture, it looks like it. Okay, payable on death. All right, guys. I am out of here. I'll catch up with you on the next vlog. Peace out.